Month 8 in the Eternal Calendar. Month 11, Day 4, 2022. In dreams, I saw myself in a house with many people. I was taken there by a person who asked for help in view of the difficult situation that the people of said place had. The person who asked for help was very anguished because there the sufferers were many, among them the neighbors, acquaintances, and relatives. I entered the place. The picture was of calamity, and I got ready to see one by one attentively their face, their expressions. A woman came closer to me. She was almost fainting. I helped her lay down and looked into her eyes because I had her in front. At that moment, I saw what afflicted her. I withdrew from in front of her and said, Lord, free them by your precious blood. So soon from her came out that huge snake, and I quickly looked for something to hit it over the head. This was slithering all over the room and me after it. Soon I found a stick and hit it on the head and a squeal like when a pig is in the slaughterhouse came out of it. It was horrible and tiring to go after it because just seeing its thickness, its size, its strength of taking everything in its path was shocking. But I was indicated not to stop until I achieve it and receiving strength in Christ Jesus, I made it. As it shrieked loud and high, it expired, and soon all the other sufferers of them, many snakes came out, but much smaller. I yelled at everyone, sing, sing, but with blood by Christ, do not stop, claim his precious blood in your lives, humble yourselves and you will be liberated. This, almost dying, began to do what I indicated them. And one by one, they recovered their strength until they were able to stand up. And so each one, with a stick in hand, killed a snake. Soon, I saw in a corner an older woman. She looked at me with dull eyes and waved her hand for me to go where she was. I prudently approached, and as I came closer, I was able to see in her eyes a huge slanted eyes that made me shudder. This woman extended her hands to grab me, but I backed away in time, and she vomited a huge snake, much bigger and more imposing than the first. My being shuddered more than before. This stood up and was twice my size by a lot. It was staring at me fixedly. I wanted to run, but I was told, get on your knees and cry out to me, and I will show you great and wonderful things that you do not know. Without hesitating, I fell to my knees. I began to cry out, but my thoughts were a struggle. It was a struggle to concentrate on crying out to God. Soon, in that moment, as I struggled to concentrate on the things of the Lord and ask Him for help and succor and humble myself before Him, soon I felt peace. And I cried out with more strength, Lord, help me, protect me. Immediately, the fear disappeared, and a dazzling light covered the place. I couldn't see more than what had flooded the place there. That light was there, flooding everything. It made me feel safe and totally confident. After time passed, the light disappeared, but peace and confidence continued in me, and fear did not return. The huge, menacing snake was gone. I looked around me and didn't see it. I only saw the older woman from where this came out, dead on the ground. At that moment there, I no longer saw any more, but I was told, rest in me, for you will not be tested more than you can bear, and with the test will come the way out. I, Prince Emmanuel, watch over my children. Trust, because I have defeated the dragon and I have also defeated the world that he thinks he has in its entirety in his hands. Sing psalms of praise in my name, for your redemption is near. Oh, beloved brothers, it will be a big fight, very big, which each one of us individually is going to have to go through very soon. 
but let us trust. Although our being trembles, even though we feel that our stomach trembles and that all our bowels are uncontrollable by fear, let us cling to Jesus Christ. Let us claim his precious blood in us. But for this, beloved brothers, to be able to receive it only can be done if we walk from now in the footsteps of the teacher. Because that protection, that faith, that confidence, that peace does not come overnight in a difficult situation, but is the culmination of what we already yearn for, ask for, seek, and we go experiencing little by little in the walking in our lives. Brothers, many believe that facing the enemy of souls is like facing any human being. It is not like this. He is very powerful, but there is one more powerful than him who is with his true children vigilant like a powerful giant to help us. O oh, beloved brothers, let us not lose the opportunity. Still, the little that remains to go before him in humiliation and supplication, he is still our advocate, because when he rises up and puts on his royal robes and becomes a judge, there will be no opportunity. God grant that we can be able to understand all these things. We can be able to analyze them and we can be able to internalize them so that we can be able then understand and comprehend the urgency that we have to seek Jesus Christ with all our hearts so that he kills this self that only he can kill, that only he can take out of our lives. It is my plea and prayer that it be so on the broad face of the earth in the flock of the eternal. May the Lord bless us.